Hello everyone, George here, welcome to another F1 Clash video on my channel. As you can see, I am on my new account again, and today we're gonna be playing Series 2. I've made the first video about Series 1, you should go and check that, and now it's about Series 2. Alright, I'm still using Alonso level 2, I managed to upgrade Nazepin to level 4. Currently these are my best 2 drivers, and for the tune, I had to upgrade some parts just to be able to keep up with the players in Series 2. And uh, I'm basically at 3.85 pit stop time. And let's play some races to help you guys use the best strategies for Series 2. One thing you need to know before going into a race is that Series 2 is basically the same as Series 1. Alright, let's go into a race. So Series 2 is basically the same as Series 1, except that we're gonna uh, face stronger opponents. Um, as you can see, we're racing on Suzuka now, Japan. And uh, hopefully we can like pull a qualifying outside the last top 4 spots on the grid. Alright, let's see. Quali is looking good actually. Alright, it's P15 for Alonso and P17 for Mazepin. This is uh, a quite good qualifying here. Alright, the reason I'm still using Alonso is that this week he has a 10% boost on all of his stats, so basically he's the better driver in my roast. And as you can see, I'm only using hard tires. In Series 2 as well, you wanna only use hard tires. As you can see, my rival is using Tsunoda and Alonso. He's using softs on Tsunoda, which will ruin his race definitely. He's gonna have to go to pit twice. Alright, even on Series 2, you wanna keep going for hard tires only and a one-stop strategy as well. Over here on Suzuka, I'm going to be using the 4-3 strategy, which means the first three laps of the race, we're going to conserve on hards. We're going to be able to boost the fourth, a full lap with Alonso and like half a lap with Mazepin. And then after pitting on a new set of hard tires, you will be able to boost full three laps to the end till the end of the race so basically this is the typical strategy for suzuka in series two uh, unfortunately i uh, didn't qualify for the opening round in my main account as i got knocked out of q3 with 217 points uh, my group was the toughest group of all uh, to be to qualify I needed one more point only I just missed out on qualifying but that's fine we're just gonna record on our new account to help you guys get through these low series as you can see my rival pitted with his Tsunoda um, we're gonna be able to overtake him with Alonso to get the lead now he's gonna go to pit with his Alonso at the end of this lap, I think. Like, I don't think his tires uh, are gonna last as he's using the regular driving on Alonso. And we're just gonna keep cruising. We're still in our third lap. We're gonna be boosting the fourth with Alonso and I think I might boost only half a lap with Mazepin, depending on how much tires he's got left. Alright, let's put our go to pit orders and let's put our pit orders for Nikita as well. Alright, wow, uh, of course, typical, Alonso has got like decent tire management for Series 2, he's gonna be able to hold his tires till the end of this lap, uh, which is fine. Alright, but like we've got this race in the bag, that's for sure. All right, let's boost Alonso here. Yeah, we have we have a great amount of distance on our rival. Yeah, this is this is completely fine. 
All right, Alonso is going into pit right now. Let's boost Mazepin here. All right, hopefully we get out in front. Oh, uh, rival, did, rival did stack his cars. Yeah, this is unusual. And he's going for soft tires as well with both of his drivers. He's gonna have to pit again with Alonso. He's gonna have to pit again. I don't know. He might like he might, his his drivers might survive two and a half laps, but if he doesn't go to pit at the beginning of the final lap, well then he's definitely gonna run out of tires, uh, which gives us uh, track position. But like, uh, even though he's on softs and he might be conserving, I'm not sure he's on regular driving. But. Uh, yeah, like, I have the better tire for now. But yeah, I think I think we're gonna be able to overtake him with Mazepin as well, to overtake both of his drivers. But like, nice position there from Alonso. Like, he's up to P7 and he's only on level two. Like, this is, this is amazing. Like, you never expect your drivers to qualify in P15 at this stage. Like, I remember on my main account, I always used to be at the back of the grid, always in the last four cars. Me and the rival, not just me. But like, this is the beginning of the seventh lap, and amazingly, my rival decided to stay out with both of his cars. Yeah, this is gonna play in our hands. So, uh, if you just use like these strategies guys, you're gonna be able to have 100% win rate in all of your races. <coughs> Alright, Alonso cut down, he's nearly out of fuel, Mazepin is still boosting, he has way more fuel at this stage, and as you can see we overtook the rival with both of our cars, and this is, this is amazing man, like, let's go. This race is in the bag, like P7 and P15 and P14, I'm correct. No, no, it's, yeah, it's P14. Alright, that's it for this race. A good amount of points. And let's get them. Alright, and let's play one more race uh, for this video. Uh, hopefully it's not going to be from Suzuka as well. And we've got the standard crate as usual. I think have a race crate to open. Hold on one sec. Yeah, we do. All right, let's open this race crate. At 4K coins, we've got five plane. I want to know that waste. All right, two spring. This is a waste as well. And we've got the scales, a gearbox. All right, let's play one more race for this video. Hopefully it's not gonna be on Suzuka as well. Uh, one thing you need to know, guys, is that you need to farm race crates. Like race crates at this stage gives you uh, every race crate. All right, it's on Bahrain. That's good. That's really good. Every race crate gives uh, one epic card. So at this stage of the game, you need this one epic card. Like Alonso level three could be um, a savior uh, comparing to Alonso level 2 uh, as, as duels I'm talking about, right? There we go, B20, B21. Alright, we're gonna be going on hearts. We're gonna be going on hearts for this race as well. We're waiting for the rival to, to ready up. Alright, hopefully we get a decent start. And as you can see, the rival is using soft tires on his Tsunoda as well. Uh, yeah, using soft tires is, is definitely uh, not good at this stage. Like, especially with Tsunoda. Tsunoda has no tire management at all. Like, I prefer using Mazepin level 2 over Tsunoda level 4, let's say. Nice start there from the rival. Uh, he overtook us, he's already up into B16, uh, I guess, or it's B18. Rival is on regular driving. 
uh, basically this is uh, this is what you need to do to oh my god we're losing so many positions we're down into p22 all right you just need to do hard to use hard tires sorry uh, you need to go for a one-stop strategy try to upgrade your setup uh, with parts that help uh, lower your pit time like the lower the pit time is the highest chance you have to uh, you get to win um, a race in duels all right i'm boosting here hopefully like tsunoda is gonna go to pit in this lap my drivers are struggling to overtake yeah we overtook tsunoda with both of our cars now it's just a matter of my Alonso getting around the rivals Alonso and he did it. Something something weird happened over there. It's like the rivals Alonso got stuck. Yeah, but like that this played very well in our hands. Alright, we're gonna go for one more lap. I think the rival is gonna go for four laps as well with his Alonso. Alright. We're gonna be boosting at the beginning of this lap with Alonso and probably I'm gonna save a bit of tires no no just let's just let's just push all right let's put our go to pit orders hard tires as well all right come on Alonso I need Alonso to pick up at least one position before going to pit nice nice great driving there from Alonso Zenoda is is nearly behind Nazipin, so we don't want him to overtake us while we're, we're in pit. Even if he's gonna pit again, but like his next pit stop is gonna be for a new set of softs, which gonna hurt us. And my game is lagging. Alright, so hopefully he doesn't overtake us. Alright, great, great job, great job. We still got the lead for the long zone. Alright, that's got him down. It's got Mazepin down over here. Alright, if the rival goes to softs, he's gonna have two laps of of speed comparing to our drivers and hards. So I need a bit of distance between my Alonso and the rivals to know them. It's fine if Mazepin like doesn't overtake anyone. It's completely fine. But like I need Alonso to pick up some positions here. Rival is still going for one more lap with his Tsunoda. He's gonna go to the end of the race with his with his Mazepin. Our great defending there from Alonso. Don't lose the position, don't lose it, don't lose it. Ah he lost it. Rival should go to pit with his Tsunoda in this lap. We're pushing Alonso, let's push Mazepin. We want him to hold his position and overtake the rival. He did it. Alright, now Rival is gonna have tire advantage and speed advantage. He's gonna be boosting 100% for these two laps. Like, surprisingly, you only get real players to race you in these low series. I don't know why. So as you can see, we have the lead. We're going into our final lap. We're boosting Alonso now. He's in, he's in P16. Mazepin is going into the final straight. He's gonna start his final lap now. Rival is boosting. His rival is fast, actually. Rival is fast. Mazepin, nice, nice overtaking there. But as you can see, the rival overtook those two cars yeah and these series like softs are so much faster than hards but like hards are the safest option as you can see her rival overtook us just like that but yeah this is gonna be another win 
uh, it's still a hundred percent win for me so that's gonna be it for this video hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll catch you in the next video peace